from the KTVB News Group. This is a special presentation of the 2018 McCall Winter Carnival. Here now is Mark Johnson hosting coverage of the iconic Idaho event, the Mardi Gras Parade in downtown McCall. Hi everybody and welcome to McCall, Idaho on a beautiful final Saturday in January. Hey, this is why we do this. The 53rd edition of the Winter Carnival could not have opened up any better. It is winter, so it we is. want winter conditions for the Winter Carnival. 53rd annual, as you mentioned, they've been doing this a long time. They know how to do it and things are underway here on downtown, in downtown McCall as the parade has started down Main Street and wake, working its way around the corner here along Highway 55. Glad you could join us on this snowy day. In the next hour, we're gonna bring you all the sights and the sounds of one of the most colorful winter parades in the country. Over 70 events here, floats, dancers, bands, teams of all sizes and ages, Sit back and relax, you're gonna love this. And you may notice some beads being thrown about yeah. here uh, downtown. That's because every year it is a Mardi Gras theme. And you can see the local fire department there throwing some beads out into the crowd. And uh, it is always a big party. And in the middle of winter, this is what you want. You this wanna have a big party. It's exactly what you want. And you can see the sides of the streets are lined. Folks did not, were not deterred by this weather. There is six and seven deep in most spots here downtown. As it is every year. I mean, the last couple of years we've had some sunshine break out, but now we've got the snow and roads weren't too bad for people coming up, uh, a little bit slushy, but as you can see, people love this. This is the one time of year they're not gonna miss out on making the trip up to McCall. All right, Brian, we're gonna let you get to your duties and uh, we're gonna talk to you while you're down on the parade route. In the meantime, here comes our Grand Marshals, Cody Monroe and We love her. She is awesome and she's going to be joining us in just a few minutes. She and her husband, Jean-Claude, we want to thank them for all the time and wisdom supporting the community. And they are in that iconic Lindsay McCall boat. How about that? Up next, another one of the wooden boats. You gotta love this from McCall Boat Works. Woody Woodson and Tammy Clark, the Lord and Lady of the Lake. And there's one thing, there's a number of things that McCall is famous for, but those wooden boats has to be right up there among the top things that you will see when you're on Payette Lake. The Payette National Forest, a hot topic from the Payette National Forest. If you live near nature, then you might be at risk, obviously, for wildfire danger. It has been a couple of wild seasons, as everyone that's watching knows. So we are thankful for the Payette National Forest and everything they do with our hotshot crews on a moment's notice, helping protect this wonderful, wonderful landscape of ours here in Valley County. The parade is just underway. Glad you could join us for the 53rd edition of the Mardi Gras McCall Winter Carnival Parade. There was some concern that the roads and the weather would keep some of the crowds away. That did not turn out to be the case at all. As I mentioned just a few moments ago, thousands of parade goers here today lining the streets six and seven deep. Our Brian Holmes is standing right in the middle of the road. Brian, uh, that's a big truck behind you. Try to keep your distance. That is one big crew from the Payette National Forest. And of course, you can prepare your home and family for the wildfire season. Just contact your local fire agency or visit Idaho 
fire wise. Up next is the Southern Idaho Timber Protective Association, another local wildland firefighting organization, and we appreciate the job they do as well. And here they come, that's the Red Truck Wildfire as they know it. It is based out of Boise. And behind that is Jug Mountain. Of course, the wonderful Jug Mountain Ranch. Brian, take it away. You're talking to those guys right now. That's quite a rig. The winner. I mean, this looks like a sweet ride. I, I, nothing can stop it. I mean, it's totally amphibious. It drives the water, it floats, it goes over the snow, it goes everywhere. It is super fun. Excellent. Well, you guys have a good time. Enjoy it. Thank you. All right, I guess we're having some problems with Brian's mic. We'll get that figured out and get back to Brian post-haste. Up next, the Wizard of McCall. And this is McCall Golf Club, the Wizard of McCall operating a 1970 F-10 mower. <laughs> this is great. Followed by Dorothy, of course, the theme, the Wizard of McCall, and this is, these are a bunch of crazies from the McCall Golf, Golf Club. Can we hear Brian yet? The McCall Golf Club, another one of those gems. Can we hear you yet? All right, well, we're still trying to get Brian's microphone figured out, so we'll continue here. The Donnelly Public Library up next. Snow place like Donnelly. Roaring reading party. It is awesome. You're watching coverage of the 53rd McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. We're taking a quick break, and we'll be back right after this. And welcome back to the 53rd Annual McCall Winter Carnival. We're down here in the middle of the parade route, and we're with McPaws here, the animal shelter. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. This is Millie. She's a Catahoula, Louisiana cattle dog. And so all of these dogs you're walking with today, these are all up for adoption, correct? Well, most of them are, but some of them are have been adopted. Have been adopted already? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you guys deal with a lot of dogs in Valley County. And I'm a volunteer. All right. Yeah. She's yeah, I'm sorry. Hi, how you doing? What's I'm, your name? I'm Amber. I'm the executive director oh, of nice. McPaws. Hi. Nice. So, so this is Warren. He's my alumni dog. He came there. from came from McPaws. Oh, really? Yeah, but some of these dogs are available for adoption, like Mildred up there and Jack's right there, the Border Collie, but then others are alumni that have already been adopted. Thank you so much. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. Have a good day. Back to you, Mark. All right. Thanks, Brian. Yep, those dogs are available for adoption, as she said. And look what's coming up next. Right around the corner, 
Mile High Sports, a local full service power sports dealership in McCall. These guys do it all. They do it 12 months out of the year. And before that, it's the Better Buy Designs. There you see those guys in the children's house preschool as well. This is uh, what's so great about this event is we've seen babies from the age of six months old all the way up to 96 year old grandmothers here in the last 36 hours up here. This is an all ages event for sure over the course of the next nine days. And this here is the Mile High Sports. In the winter time, of course, they're all about the snow with the snowmobiles and the snow bikes. And then of course, in the summertime, they've got everything from the jet skis to the power boats and the pontoons, you name it, they do it. Those are the bikes that they're gonna be racing at the golf course you see behind them. Go of speeds of about 60 miles an hour on elevated ice bank turns. It's wild. The McCall Airport was supposed to be in the parade at this point, but they are so busy plowing their runways and trying to make the uh, airport operational with the snow that we've had in the last 12 hours that they said, sorry, we've, we've got too much work to do. So they're sitting tight and doing what they have to do to make it happen. That's the McCall daycare with the rainbow and the skis. All smiles around here from the kids, young and old. So many organizations, local nonprofits, commercial organizations, are involved in this event and it is a year long planning event. They start planning for next year. As soon as they wrap this event up, they start planning for the next year. It is incredible how much work goes into this event. Brian, who do you have? Well, we got the uh, was it McCall First Bank down at the Idaho First Bank here in McCall. Will you look at these costumes down here? Idaho First Bank, we rock. rock. And the cowardly lion over here. Rawr. 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 Who brought the, who brought the pugs? That's Gunther, the monkey. <laughs> and then we got the Tin Man over here. We've got the mayor of Emerald City also on this float. You guys went all out. We did. We rock. What's it like being a part of a parade like this? Love it. This is a great day. Great day. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. All right, coming up next, we've got the Meadows Valley Pep Band. Musicians from New Meadows School Music Program performing for sporting events, including performances for the Idaho Ice Cats hockey game. Let's see if you can crank it up. Here we go. Meadows Valley cranking it up to the tune of Rocky right there. Somebody needs to find some steps to climb. Coming up next is uh, Ridley's Family Market. Of course, one of two supermarkets in this town, along with Albertsons, who's also a sponsor and represented in the parade. So we want to thank those guys from Ridley's and Albertsons coming up here in a few minutes. And you can see them. Beads are being tossed. Candy is being tossed. It is a total Mardi Gras event. <laughs> Let's go to Brian right now. All right, Mark, thank you very much. We're down here uh, with, uh, I want to say, this is the Disabled Sports USA. The Saptors, awesome. Awesome. For Adaptive Wilderness Sports in McCall, and we are a chapter of Disabled Sports USA. We provide opportunities for people with disabilities to ski, and in the summer they get to kayak. And what kind of stuff do they get to do? Like, what kind of adaptive equipment do you guys have for skiing? Yeah, there's a sit ski up there, something we use. We have a, a piece of
of equipment called a slider that allows them to, uh, people who have balance issues, to, they have all sorts of equipment. And you guys also work in the summer as well, as you mentioned, kayaking. Kayaking in the summer, yeah. We, we're trying to do stuff all year round for folks. We also do a veterans event every winter and a summer event for veterans with disabilities to come out and ski and kayak with us. Yes, I am. And I've got Mayor Jackie up here as well. And here she is. Barely. Hi, it's nice to see you. Welcome to McCall. We've got Thank some you. politicians here that are running for office. And uh, Tommy Alquist is here, as is uh, Russ Fulcher. And I saw Janet McGeehan. Uh, Brad Little is here. So a number, a number of politicians that are running for office are here today. And Mayor Jackie has joined me, and I just handed her the microphone. So I'm going to get you caught up to speed. And we are right here at Daisy Troop 571. Oh, love How are Daisy. you doing, Mayor Jackie? I am Jackie? great. I am great. Thank you. You look fabulous, and oh. it was fun for you being on that wooden boat. Oh, what a great boat. You know it's not mine. Yes. It's worth more than my house. You know that. But, you know, they're so gracious to let us have it. Oh, there's Lola Elliott. Okay, she's tell us who librarian. you're waving to. Lola Elliott, she's our favorite librarian. And then, the, you can't beat Girl Scouts. Okay. I mean, they are so. It's Girl Scout cookie time of yes. year again. Where are the cookies? Uh, they're, I, they're on uh, the Troop 571's okay. float. Okay, I, I hope I brought enough money. All right, up next is the McCall Donnelly High School Band under the direction of Gran Pinard. Plays a variety of music. Listen in. Oh, that was great! Inspirational. It's, it's not easy playing a brass instrument with a metal mouthpiece when, when it's it, 30 degrees. I I agree. They did a pretty good job. Up next is the McCall Donnelly High School football team. Of course, you know them and you love them as the Vandals. Well, I could call them the Bronco Vandals, couldn't I? Yes, you can. But maybe they would. But I tell you what, this is one talented group of athletes. They qualified for the championships two years in a row. All right, let's send it down to Brian. Brian's got a guest for us. Yeah, we're down here amidst the Shore Lodge. They may have the most elaborate float set up here today. Pitching balls up at the rooftop up there. Made one. We've got, uh, this is, of course, Dorothy's house falling on the Wicked Witch of the East. How you guys doing in there? Keep going. Let's get this parade going. Let's go. Come on down. There we go. And you can see the twister behind it. The house is falling on the witch. And coming out, we got munchkins over here. The lollipop guild is here. No lollipops? Where are the lollipops? All right. There. there you go. There you go. See? They know what they're doing out here. This is how you do it. Nice job. The Lollipop Guild is here. And then, of course, behind that, you can see Glenda the Good Witch on that big float coming down here. This is awesome. They've got it all set up here for Snow Place Like Home. Let's try to talk to these four. Look at this. Look at you guys. The mayor as well. This is what is all about the McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade, the fun just like this. And we're gonna take a quick break and bring you more from the 53rd annual McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade right after this.
Oh, I got flying monkeys all out here. This is <laughs> going into the crowd, going up there. Emerald City is here. There goes Glenda. This is a great float that they've done here at the Shore Lodge. We got the Guardians of the Gate, flying monkeys, more flying monkeys. You guys went all out. This is oh, now we got the witch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move over here. You guys have a good time. Mark, back up there. That is awesome. Every year, Shore Lodge really brings it. They get everybody involved, don't they, Jack? Oh, this is always the best float of the year. And Shore Lodge, I'm worried about this guy's makeup. It's a little bit frightening. Yeah, they got the flying monkeys. Yeah, a little bit scary, but kids are doing okay. The Shore Lodge is remodeled remodeled their um, bar and their restaurant and it is spectacular. Oh man, big things are happening at Shore Lodge. Yes, and you know what, speaking of new restaurants, the city of McCall Golf Course has just opened a new restaurant called the Banyans on the Greens. It's run by the Burns who are from western, eastern Washington and it is spectacular. Wow. Total remodel, it's open um, this weekend Thursday through Sunday, starting at four o'clock. So I hope everybody comes out and enjoys our new restaurant. Well, you've done amazing things in your time as governor, or as governor. You will do amazing things in your time as governor, <laughs> but you've done amazing things in your time as mayor. And it has to be gratifying to you to see where McCall is right now and where it's going. Incoming. Whoa, good catch, Mark. That's pretty good one. Throw football up here. You know, being mayor is a real honor and privilege, and I got to tell you, I just get to be a part of the team that works really hard to to do the best for our community. We got great city council, an amazing staff, a really nice incoming city manager who's going to keep us moving forward. So we're really lucky to be a part of this community. Well, I can tell you if it, if this turnout of the parade is any indication. The future here for McCall to continue to grow and prosper is very, very bright. Well, if all of these people are here, it means I got to park my car and walk all the time. <laughs> but we're sure glad to have them. Really glad to have them. And thanks for the chamber for doing such a great job for getting the word out and bringing people to McCall. Yeah. And, uh, on a day that we haven't seen in a long time on this parade, you know, I can remember a couple of years ago, it was drizzling rain. Yeah. And other, other years, it's been bright sunshine, but today is the kind of day that you guys up here really love. Eight new inches at Brundage Mountain is going to keep you guys in powder heaven the rest of the year. Yep, the best snow in Idaho. There and you. we waited a long time for this snow, and we're going to ski every flake. All right. We got our dance moves with the Mountain Dance Unlimited. And these guys are energetic, aren't they? Well, they're young. They're kids. Right. And they've got talented teachers. All right, let's go down to Brian right now with All Mountain right. Dance Unlimited. Yeah, the Mountain Dance Unlimited walking over here in front of us, still dancing despite the rain starting to fall. But I've got the Snowden Wildlife Sanctuary down here. Tell me about your, your organization. Well, we're a uh, wildlife going. sanctuary, and we take in animals that have been orphaned or injured or abandoned and rehab them until they can be released back to the wild. How often do you do that? Uh, quite often. I mean, we had uh, eight, eight or nine bears, bear cubs this year. We released six this fall, and we still have a couple out there that were, you know, abandoned late in the season, so they have to spend the winter. All right, up next, we've got the McCall Medicaid expansion team. Medicaid for Idaho, and they're making tracks, they say, to close the health care gap. A big story in our state over the course of the last three or four years. We well, you know our legislators sat on their thumbs for too many years. We have 78,000 people without health insurance, yep. and this is a great idea. It's a people's initiative, and I really hope people get on board. And then behind them is the Boise State hockey team. Ryan, take it Go away. Go Broncos! Kincaid down here. Josh, what position do you play? I play defense. Play defense. How'd it go last night? Uh, we got the 4-0 win, so we're happy, you know. Uh, everybody played well, and, you know, coach, you know, led us in the right direction. First period. Keep walking with me here. We'll keep up. Everybody. What's it like to play an environment like at, at the, the ice rink here in McCall? Uh, it's definitely one of the one of the best games of the year, if not the best game. It's just it's a great atmosphere. A lot of people come and, you know, enjoy the game and 
enjoy everything that the uh, Winter Carnival has, so it's a lot of fun. All right, tonight as well, right? You guys are going back at it for the yes. black and blue? 7.30 Manchester. Be there. All right, we will. Thank you very much, Josh. Good job. 4 nothing win last night at the Manchester. Another dominating performance. Let's we'll see if they can replicate that for tonight. Mark? All right, thanks a lot. I made a successful catch of the beads thrown by them. And then here's the big float. The Channel 7 float. Brian, take it away. we got to show this baby off. The Olympics just winks away now. we got Circle 7 and the Wu crew in tow here. Yong Chang, 2018, just a couple of weeks ago. This is the first time we had a float in this parade. Look at this snazzy setup here. This is nice. You guys have done an awesome job putting that thing together. We love it. Everybody gets excited, of course, this Olympic year, and a lot of winter sports up here. A lot of people are going to be watching the Winter Olympics with all of the Idaho connections. I think we have eight athletes. Things will be underway. Opening ceremonies are a week from next Friday at Pyeongchang, and that is giving me a little bit of a goosebump, a little Olympic goosebump. I love the Brundage Mountain. Take it, Brian. Brundage Mountain, that is an impressive float. And who is Mr. Brundage up there, the Vikings? Well, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's Mr. DeBoer because he uses, has another ski outfit. But he's pretty impressive and he does need a shave. Yes, he does need a shave. And those, those skis are a little bit old. That is awesome. <laughs> a lot of locals take the advantage of everybody being downtown to have an opportunity to get up and ski. Absolutely. Oh, you know that. Here's Shirley, Brian. Shirley, a fan favorite this year, brought to you by Moss, which is Macomb Outdoor School. And let's talk a little about, walk with us a little bit. Walk with us. What's your name? Allison Robinson. Tell me a little bit about Moss. So Moss is the McCall Outdoor Science School, part of the U of I uh, Natural Resources. So we, so we have K-12 programs, and we have grad students, and we do a lot of outdoor and environmental education a lot of hands-on programs nice so you guys got charlie this year let's keep this thing going awesome well i've seen you guys do some work you guys take them outside even in the cold yes out in ponderosa state park we use all our local resources to teach as much as we can that's amazing thank you very much and everybody of course charlie one of the mainstays of the mccall winter carnival mardi gras parade got a little subdued this evening or this or this afternoon but uh always a fan favorite mark have you ever seen Charlie in the lakes? You know, I have not, but our friend Gail Bray thought she saw it. Oh, really? And she hadn't had wine or anything, so, and I trust Gail. She knows a lot of stuff. So Gail she, knows a lot of stuff. Yeah, she, so she might have seen. She's the local Larry Gibbard, I've heard. Yeah, she is. That's she right. is. A little bit shorter. Right. Doesn't do the weather. She will if you ask her. Yeah, she will. Yeah. Peak Fitness here. This company, uh, keeping you fit up here in Yeah, Mount. we are we are really lucky to have several gyms in our town where people can work out. It's hard to work out in the winter, unless you're skiing. I wonder if these four-legged athletes get a discount. <laughs> yeah, they do. Excellent. Nothing to bark at. And behind them, oh. how about this? A little four-legged walk along. As you can reach. That is darling. I love that. I see that being a uh, an attraction, you know, down on Main Street. Yeah. Late night, picking you up and taking yeah, you. Yeah, that to, could be our Uber. There is your Uber right there. There's four legged Uber. Our Uber, yes. You just have to have a shovel behind it. Right. You know, I want you to tell us a little about Etta Mayfield. She didn't. She wasn't here last year, but since 1994, she's been a part of the parade because she loves. She said the spirit of Mardi Gras for the Winter Carnival. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, she's only missed one or two since 1994. She is in her 80s, and to be that committed to participating in this event and be a part of it is a big deal. Right. She, Brian, have you got Etta? I do have Etta. I got Etta. Etta. I want to know about the flowers that she can bloom in the snow. Etta rarely misses a McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras parade. She missed last year, but she's back this year with a flurry. How are you doing, Etta? I'm doing 
What? Walk with us. Let's not slow anybody down. We'll keep walking here. You you never uh, rarely miss this parade. I, I got to have pneumonia last year instead. Oh. So that's why I missed last year. Yeah, but this year you wanted to come back. Of course. Why? Well, I've been doing it every year for about 24 years. <laughs> You're like a mainstay around. Everybody knows who Etta Mayfield is. Uh, I don't know as everybody does. I'm working on it, though. <laughs> That's amazing. What do you what you do to this Jeep? Uh, with the Jeep? Oh, almost everybody knows the little yellow Jeep. There's a story behind it. What is it? Uh, when my husband passed away, we decided that we would have in his honor have the Jeep decorated up. And it didn't want to run. It took my son almost two days to get it to run. Oh, my. I figured it didn't want to be driven by anybody else but Ross. Well, it looks beautiful, and I love the flowers. And it, McCall loves you, Etta. Thank you very much for coming out again this year. I love it. She gets her flowers to bloom in the snow. It's pretty impressive. We can't get tomatoes to grow in the summer. Yeah, exactly. We got the rodeo queen. You know, we have a lot of rodeo folks in this parade this year, from Baker, from Eagle, from Cascade, from Donnelly. A lot of talented young women. I love it. Valley County Ro Rodeo and then the Eagle Rodeo. And as Brian pointed out earlier today, the uh, venue for the Eagle Rodeo is changing uh, to just north of Shadow Valley Golf Course. Yeah, I saw that. That's going to be 55. awesome. That's good. a great spot. Great so spot. It's moving to there. We've got the Western Riding Club Royalty. And last but not least, the Baker County Fair and Panhandle Rodeo Royalty. So we got a string of royalty here. We're going to take a break right now, but we've got much more to go. You're watching coverage of the McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade right here on Idaho's News Channel 7, your home for the McCall Winter Carnival, the Super Bowl, and the Olympics. We're back in Welcome back to McCall, everybody, and the McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. You're watching it right now on Idaho's News Channel 7. Mark Johnson and Mayor Jackie Amon in the booth and Brian Holmes on the street giving us wall-to-wall -wall coverage of this spectacle that happens on the last Saturday every year here in January. It never fails to disappoint. No, it's always spectacular and always different, and we just I hope people saw the little sprouts um, float that just went ahead. It's one of our preschools. And our newest council member, Tom Sowers, driving the truck. I love it. We're all about volunteers and I service. Love it. Volunteers is what this event is all about for sure. Coming up down the road, Albertsons, which recently finished up the remodel of the old Paul's grocery store. And it is beautiful. It's magnificent. And what? How fortunate we are to have Albertsons in our community. Not only is it a beautiful grocery store with wonderful fresh fruit and produce, 
They hired all, they offer jobs to all the staff from Paul's, and so we have consistent staff because we love the folks who work at Paul's. So we feel right. really blessed and very fortunate to have Albertsons in our town. Well, I know uh, company CEO and President Bob Miller said, you know, McCall is one of the most beautiful places, not only in our state, but in our country. And he said, I've got to have an Albertsons in that town. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ma Miller. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Made it happen. So that's, uh, that's Albertsons. And then behind Albertsons, uh, we've got some radio stations that you guys listen to every single day. You know, our radio stations are a great way to communicate with visitors and our residents. They advertise for us on many occasions and they will bring people out. So we are really lucky. And I want people to get off social media for a while and listen to our local radio stations because they'll get a lot of information about what's going on in McCall. Do the kids up here, uh, do they like their phones and the social media? You know, I'm assuming that they do. They're all American kids like everybody else. These guys are passing out candy. And the crowd is going to. Holly is coming! Sean! Wow! This is dangerous. That's <laughs> under attack up there. Now they're just now they're just hurling them at us because they're mean. <laughs> Protect yourself, Mark. Protect yourself. Uh, that was new. I, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about going to Albertsons Thank now you. and egging the store. <laughs> that hurt. We lose. <laughs> wow. All right, we mentioned, mentioned Heartland Country. Katie ZY, and then behind them we got Lakeshore Disposal, and the kids are in the dumpster. Uh oh, is that like being grounded? <laughs> Kinda. That's what happens. Is that when, time out? That's why kids, when kids are on social media too long. Yes. And they're doing too much. <laughs> that's where they go. Yeah. Well, that's good. Is that where you put your twin girls? In the dumpster. Yeah. That's right. right. I could see that not happening. That's pretty funny. This, what we got here is a disposal convoy, Jackie. Well, we need a disposable convoy because look at all these people here. Yeah. All right, Brian, you've got somebody. What do you have? This is one of the highlights of the McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade, the Mountain Samba Group. How, can I ask you a couple questions? How long have you guys been around? I may not know the answer to the questions because I'm from San Francisco. <laughs> We're leading. I'm by the dancers. I'm with Eduardo, who's leading the drummers. The li Eduardo knows. He knows. You guys have been up here how many years? 15 or 16. 15 or 16. Every year, part of the parade, right? Yeah. Well, let's get this drum going. Let's get this party continued. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'm going to talk to Eduardo back here. Get this drum going. He's got it started up for us. Here he goes. Give him a beat, Eduardo. Give him a beat. snow or sunshine they got the Congo line going down here on Main Street I uh, just want to know Jackie why you're not in that well because I don't think I'd look that great in that costume all of my parts have gone south come on you're a gymnast I'm a world class gymnast. athlete oh not world class trust me but aren't these gals great they've been practicing for a long time and they look fantastic that is spectacular. I think these are the best costumes I've seen. It's amazing uh, because I'm sure they practiced last year. Yeah. Yeah, at least. No, so they keep it going all year long. Nothing says. 
this winter carnival more than a samba drum band. Exactly. Well, you know, Eduardo wrote a whole new song just for the samba group for the winter carnival parade, and that's pretty impressive. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to show you the spectacular finish of the McCall Winter Carnival here on Idaho's News Channel 7. Stay with us, everybody. Welcome back to McCall and one of our favorite floats every year, Jackie, is the Rotary Youth Exchange that features the Rotary Youth Exchange students from countries. And these kids are living in Idaho this year from Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, and it's a volunteer from the Rotary Club. Yes, and it's a great program. And then we send some of our students to other countries as well. We had a young gal, Vivian, who was a Swiss exchange student last year in Switzerland. And it's just a wonderful program, and these kids thrive in McCall. And All right, Brian, take it away. All right. We are here with the Rotary Exchange Club exchange students. We got kids all the way from Sweden and Ecuador. We got Mateo here from Ecuador. Isabel from Sweden. What's it, what's it been like for you guys? You've probably been here, first of all. All right, uh, Brian's mic cut out when he was on top of the flatbed, the flatbed truck, but you can see all the countries represented there, Taiwan. We saw a family from Taiwan here last night. Germany, Pocatello to Germany, Twin Falls to Italy. Did I see a French flag? I know a Swiss, there's some Swiss up there. And there are some of our famous Olympians. Lyle Nelson, Patty Boyston, and our future Olympians. Love it, future Olympians, right here. Did you know Lyle was a four-time Olympian? Yes, Lyle Nelson. Lyle Nelson. He I, actually carried the banner his last Olympic he year. He did, he did in Calgary. And I bet you he could still do it. He still could. Yeah. What's Lyle been up to these days? Well, he still works for St. Luke's McCall. He has two kids, one who's um, six or five, and one who's six or seven. Wow. Lyle Nelson, yeah, you talk about one of the, some of the greats of all time in Olympic winter sports, and Lyle Nelson from right here in McCall, Idaho, with his four Olympic cross-country appearances. I'll put him up against anybody. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Did you know he graduated from West Point? Yes. You know, we don't have many McCall people graduating from West Point, so that's pretty cool. Not yet you don't. We have quite a few from Harvard and other cool schools. I love the fact this year that the McC McCall is kind of Valley County is a qualifier for the Iditarod. I know. That's what those that sled is dog really races. cool. And what I want people to do is to go to Ruby's Kitchen, which is our new restaurant over on the west side before Shore Lodge, and check out that ice sculpture. It is spectacular because it's dog sled. And it's in ice with lights, and it is beautiful. I can't wait to see that. 
It's worth going over there, having some breakfast, and check out the, the sculpture. Well, it's pretty cool that you got a qualifier for the biggest sled dog race in the world. Up next, we've got the uh, annual appearance of the Boise Rock Placing Company. No small task around here. Now, one thing we do because the Glacial Moraine is we have a rock or two. Yes. And I'm going to bust it out, Jackie because it never gets old. Some of these rocks that they have in here. Are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years old. Yes. Would that make them classic rock? Perhaps that would make them classic rock. You changed up your stick. I did. We got the uh, Phoenix fire protection. The guys and gals are outside, and that is one, as my kids would say, rad truck. That's a beautiful truck. You know, we had a lot of fire resources in this parade, and I'm glad we didn't have a forest fire. <laughs> yeah, you know they're, when they're coming, you can see them coming down the road. Yeah, that's beautiful. And they have been very, very busy. We got the McCall, the City of McCall Park and Rec Department, Boy Scout Troops, 245, 246, and 247, but Valley County royalty before them, as you mentioned, lots and lots of royalty. Lots of royalty. Talented we have to have young the queens women. In the yeah, we have to. Talented young women. And these Boy Scouts are a very active troop. And I just want to remind them that they need to develop a Firewise badge. So I'm just calling out to Tom, one of their leaders, to get that Firewise badge going for us. Right, right, right. Love our scouts. Take a look at this crowd as we wrap things up here. The crowd is uh, kind of filling in and walking alongside. And this is anybody's chance that I always wanted to walk in a parade. This is their chance to do it. This is it, yeah. And does it go all the way people. up to Shore Lodge, Jackie? It does not, but people should go to Shore Lodge once the parade's over for lunch. Yeah. Or, of course, the golf course, the new restaurant. I would love that. It won't be long. Of course, you got a ski, you got a ski season to wrap up first. Yeah, but we're just starting. Hopefully, we ski till May. Well, so many more activities going on here in the next eight days. What are, what are some of your highlights for folks that are watching this at home right now saying, all right, I missed the parade and I missed opening ceremonies, but what should I be looking at? Oh gosh, come down for the, for the sculptures. And then we're gonna have another sculpture contest over the weekend where they're gonna carve sculptures and the spot. So you can watch them actually carve them. So, and then the food, we've got a lot of nice food vendors and at the golf course, we've got snowshoe golf and we've got a bike race over down by Riverfront Park. So I think there's a lot of things to come see. Yeah, and then you, more fireworks. You got the motorized bike races yeah. at the golf course that, that's incredible. It's not the golf course, oh, it's at Lakefront, uh, Riverfront Lakefront. Park, Riverfront Park that's this right. year. That's right, they changed that, I think yeah. last year they changed that. And then next Saturday, Little Ski Hill is gonna have a dinner at 5.30 and fireworks at 6, 6.30. So people should come out for that. That's gonna be a big deal. And I love the fact that, as we mentioned on the news, getting a room last night, getting a room tonight, it was a it was a tough ticket. But that kind of changed now. That's that's different. Are we on this camera here? Uh, that's kind of changed a little bit now. You can find uh, rooms here for the next eight days a little easier than you were able to find one for last night and tonight. Do you think that's because Airbnb? That's more hotels. Maybe I, th I think the, the crush is last night and tonight, and then things kind of taper yeah. off to a manageable event. Yes, because the parade's the sort of the highlight. Right. I mean, this is better than the Rose Parade. I it would rather been. be at this parade than the Rose Parade. Athletic Former as Athletic Director Gene Blamer, come over here and say Gene, hi to Jackie. that's not Gene. <laughs> yes. It's like this is... Okay. Hey, Gene. How you doing, buddy? Great, how are you? I'm good. What'd you think of the parade? It was fantastic. Fantastic. Best I've ever seen. You're living up here full it time now. It is Gene Blaymeyer. Yeah. It's good. Welcome to McCall. Two, two it's people. It's good to see you. Happy birthday to Happy you. Happy birthday. 
It's your 28th birthday? 28th birthday. No better place to celebrate than here in McCall. Yeah, Jean Blamar just came by, former athletic director of Boise State. And uh, I believe he hired you, didn't he? Or did no, he No, Lyle Smith hired Lyle me for Smith? my first year. And then Jean came on. She was a gymnastics after Mike coach Mulally. at Boise State. And then Jean was my third boss. Mike yeah. didn't last long than that. Jean was my boss for long. Uh, I didn't Jean. recognize Jean. Yes, he's. Oh my gosh, he looks the same, really. He's here full time now. And. Uh, Everybody's enjoying this, as I mentioned. You've got, uh, you know, Aaron Paul is hanging out up here. You've got celebrities from the motion picture world and from television. You've got former athletic directors, former Division One coaches, and then you got regular people like us that are coming up here and having a blast. Yeah, it takes everybody to make this machine go. <laughs> it does. And we're just so lucky to get to live in McCall. I know. We went uh, to dinner last night at Hotel McCall. Oh. And Rupert's is great. Rupert's was great. It was manageable. But then we went to the uh, fro uh, fog lifter today for breakfast. Yes, perfect. And perfect. It was, it was fantastic. And uh, we're going to head over Shore Lodge and we're going to go to the hockey game tonight. Oh, awesome. And don't forget to go to Ruby's Kitchen, take breakfast there, and then check the McCall Banyans, the new McCall City Golf Course restaurant, Banyans on the Green. Okay. So as we wrap things up, what's next for you? I know you're excited about the initiative, the long range plan for McCall that is uh, kind of bubbling right now, isn't it? Well, you know, the, uh, the biggest issue we face right now is affordable housing for our workforce. Mm -hmm. And we're not the only resort town struggling with that, but right. that's what, we've got a, a strategic plan, we've got some a housing trust, we've got some ideas, we just have to implement them and solve that problem. Because without a workforce, it's not McCall. Right. It was all hands on deck at all of those places I rattled off last night. Uh, whether you were the owner and you had three kids at home, they were working last night. Yeah. Uh, the owner's sister and brother who aren't in that business, they were also working last night and they will continue to do that. It is a total family effort. It is. Brian, who do you have? Well, I got a, a guy who comes up here almost regularly for the McCall Winter Carnival. This is uh, Mike Wolf here. Uh, you may recognize him if he were to take his shirt off for us right now. He's the one that we've done a story on. He makes a calendar out of his back hair. But you come up here every year, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we like to come up here. It's always a good time, good festivities. What's it like to bring the family up here? I mean, despite the fact that it's raining or snowing or whatever, it's always a blast. It's always better if it is snowing, right? I yeah. mean, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, coming out, enjoying the winter festivities. Look at these kids. They're having a great time getting all the beads, getting all the candy. It's a ton of fun. And I hear you guys have got some good things planned when it comes to what goes on in your back over there. We do, we do. We did the calendar. hair. Thank you, Brian, for getting that thing out there. We had a great time with it. I'll take the jacket off a little later. <laughs> but uh, but no, we have some good things coming. Uh, so just look at calendhair.com, you know, and, and see what the uh, what the newest and greatest is going to be. It's amazing. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Thanks Let's you get back Brian. to your family. Have yeah, have a good day. It, this guy put all kinds of carvings into his back hair. Remember this, Mark? Yeah. And uh, he did Jimmy Fallon, right? Yeah, he did Jimmy Fallon on his back. He's been on uh, national team. He went around the world with this thing. It's just amazing. Are you because next? he decided to, sh to shave a couple of designs in his back hair. Are you next? No, my, what does that mean? The shaving of your back hair, is that next? Next year. Next year. Give me a year to get that going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this steady stream of traffic that you see here, they are headed not so much out of town. I think they're looking for a place to park now that the parade's over. Yeah, I have a feeling they are, but really it's pretty early. They're able to drive, which is unusual. People right. are on the side of the road instead of the middle of the road. So, you know, people are behaving themselves and doing the right thing. That's fairly impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. And uh, the school buses are coming up to pick up those kids that are in from out of town. The bands that you saw today, those guys uh, all came in school buses. We saw a lot of them across the street at the coffee shop. They were Rolled into town this morning about uh, 8 a.m. Wow. They've been here a long time. Yeah, they'll be tired and cold and hungry. That's okay. I know some families that can't wait to feed them and see them and tell them that they saw them on television. That's cool. Well, this of course kicks off a trio of huge events that you're gonna be seeing here in the next weeks <laughs> on Idaho's News Channel 7. The McCall Winter Carnival, of course, was our, uh, our kickoff event, our showcase, kind of our opening event if you will and then of course a week from tomorrow we have the Super Bowl
Oh, the Super Bowl. The Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. Who do you think, Mayor Jackie, is going to win that? Well, game? I'm going for the Eagles because, you know, Jay Ajay is playing. There you go. Love you're that a, guy. You're a Bronco through and through. Through and through. Always a Bronco. And then, of course, I know your favorite event every two years, the Olympics opening ceremonies coming up a week from next Friday from Pyeongchang. Oh, it's so exciting. And we have seven, possibly eight Idahoans on Team Idaho with strong, strong local ties that will be competing, not only for us, but for our entire country. Yeah, it's, it's thrilling. And make sure I want everybody to get their DVR set up so they don't miss their favorite events. Because they, it's some going all the time. Yes, all the time. All the time. And live. Yes, and you have sometimes you have to go to work and eat and things like that. Yeah. So it's really hard to see everything. So just get the DVR set up. Okay, well, that'll do it for our crew. Up here in McCall for Brian Holmes and Mayor Jackie Amon. I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for watching coverage of the 2018 McCall Winter Carnival Mardi Gras Parade. So long, everybody.